this video, we'll be solving a numerical related to T distribution. So the problem statement says that a certain stimulus administrated to each of 12 patients results in the following change in blood pressure. So the data is given. So we have to check whether the stimulus will increase the blood pressure or not. For our reference, the level of significance that is T of 0 0.05 is 2.201. At uh, level degree at 11 degree of freedom. So first let's write the T distribution formula. Then X bar value we know that is mean is summation of X by N. Mu value is not given. So in this case in this particular question we are taking mu value as 0. So mu value mu is done. So X bar let's calculate that will be summation of 5 plus 2 plus 8 minus 1 plus 3 plus 6 minus 2 plus 1 plus 5 plus 4 by totally 12 patients are there so n value is 12 so x bar if you solve this you get the value as 2.5834 okay now let's calculate sigma but before sigma we have to calculate variance first so v is equal to summation x minus x bar whole square by n minus 1 so x bar is 2.5834 so it will be 5 minus 2.5834 uh, whole square plus 2 minus 2.5834 whole square 5 minus 2.5834 whole square plus 2 minus 2.5834 whole square plus 8 minus 2.5834 whole square plus minus 1 minus 2.5834 whole square plus 3 minus 2.5834 whole square plus 6 minus 2.5834 whole square and so on till 4 minus 2.5834 whole square totally divided by n value is 12 so 12 minus 1 that is 11 so if you solve this you get the value as 9.538 v value is 9.538 then uh, the sigma value that is standard deviation would be under root of v that is under root of 9.583538 actually so that would result to 3.088 so this is sigma value so we have calculated x bar and sigma let's substitute it in this equation so it will be t is equal to x bar value is 2.5834 minus mu value is 0 by sigma value is 3.088 into under root 12. So if you solve this you get 2.90. So this 2.90 value is what we have calculated mod t. So the, the condition is mod t should be less than t of 0 0.05 in this case they have given 0 0.05 as reference right the level of significance they have given 0 0.05 so here t value is greater than to, uh, t of 0 0.05 that is that is 2.201 so in this case the assumption is rejected at 5% level of significance So we conclude that with 95% confidence the stimulus in general is accompanied with increase in blood pressure. So it is we can derive the thing from this comparison only. So I hope you have understood how to solve this question. So if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.